Hi everyone here I am discuss the electrical interview questions most of the mnc's construction companies and infrastructures ask you these real time scenario electrical interview questions here I am going to help you all to crack the interview questions in every interview the question should be categorized into three types one is beginner level intermediate level and advanced level for freshers and 2 to 3 years experience candidates the questions should be like beginner levels and intermediate level for more than 3 years experience uh, these questions should be in advanced level according to the client requirements uh, according to the client requirements they ask uh, the interview questions lot of electrical graduates they don't know how the real world scenario here you can see how the real world scenario interview questions these questions may useful for all categories for students and job holders for students um, to face the interview fine for the job holders it is used to brush up your knowledge okay guys let's we start the interview questions the first question is why delta star transformers are used for lighting loads for lighting definitely the neutral conductor is must hence the secondary must be star winding and this lighting load is always unbalanced in all three phases to minimize the current unbalanced in the primary the primary must be in delta connection so the delta star transformers is used for lighting loads the next question is if one lamp connected between two phases if it will glow or not definitely the lamp will be glow if the voltage between two phases is equal to lamp voltage then the lamp will be glow when the voltage difference is big the lamp will be damaged when the difference is small the lamp will glow depends upon the type of the lamp the next question is hrc fuse stands for hrc fuse stands for high rupturing capacity fuse it is used in distribution system for transformer transformers the next question is what happens if we give 220 volts dc supply to bulb or tube generally if we give 220 volts dc to the ac the ac devices are designed for high impedance to ac supply normally they have low resistance when the dc supply is applied to the low resistance the current through lamp will be so high that will damage the bulb element the next question is why humming sound occurs in hd transmit lines the sound is coming due to the ionization of air around transmission conductor this effect is also called as corona effect and it considered as a power loss the next question is why link is provided in neutral of ac circuit and fuse in phase of ac circuit link is provided a neutral common point in the circuit for which a various connections are taken for a individual control circuit so it is given in a link form to withstand higher amps to withstand higher amps the neutral link they give the neutral link but in case the fuse in phase of ac circuit it is 
designed such that the fuse rating is calculated for particular circuit for particular circuit only the fuse should be calculated so if the malfunction happens the fuse connected in particular control circuit alone it will be blown off if the fuse provided in neutral link if the blow if that fuse will be blown out the same time the supply in that due to open or break the neutral voltage is increases and the equipment may be damaged the next question is what is automatic voltage regulator automatic voltage regulator it is a heart of the synchronous generator this abbreviation of automatic voltage avr means automatic voltage regulator it is important in synchronous generator it controls the output voltage of the generator by controlling its excitation current you must know this excitation current thus it can control the output reactive power of the generator the next question is why we use stones or gravel in the electrical switcher it is important question maxo interviews they will ask this question the gravel it prevents the accumulation of rain water in switcher it reduces the step point and touch point when it operates on switcher the stone prevents the vegetation or growth of small weeds plants inside the switcher prevents the entry of wild animals life improve the yard working condition it protects from fire when the oil spillage takes place gravel increases resistance between output and the ground the next question is what is abbreviation of dcs esd and scada system the abbreviation of dcs is distributed control system the abbreviation of esd is emergency shutdown system the abbreviation of scada is supervisory control and data acquisition system the next question is this is a question for the all of all if you know the question please comment below otherwise i will give the answer in my next video please if you know the answer comment in my youtube channel why we use testers what happens when we touch ht line with the tester please comment this answer in my channel subscribe the channel share the video to the maximum people it is going to useful any one of who going to prepare for the interview don't forget to click the bell button for notification